It came from Xbox Live. Hello and welcome back everyone to It Came From Xbox Live. This is episode 22. I'm your host Maxwell with Bargains and my 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 it's so nice to hear that sweet whistling tune again. Joining me today and making his debut on It Came From Xbox Live is the one the only Christopher Waters. Hey McBargains, how's it going? Hey Christopher, good to have you. I'm thrilled to be on the Blig. I've heard tell of it. I've seen many an episode. Now I get to be part of it. And now you're gonna live it. Are you ready to jump into your first game? I am, but uh, take the reins here because I'm a little daunted. All right, let's do it. Well, Minecraft jokes. Minecraft jokes. x -Blig, just a real dumping ground for Minecraft clones. That is what you're into. But if not, you've got, oh no's attack of the space burger. I thought we kicked things off something a little weird. Oh no's because this, two. This apparently no the first one was so popular that it had to warn a sequel. What Here are you crying go. burger tears? I cry burger tears of blood. Oh my goodness, the horror. Burger tears of blood. Well, how come the game wasn't called burger tears of blood? Your bloodlust is at tier two. Ooh, here we go, no, I'm ready to bloodlust. Nobody likes gherkins. Pickle bomb it! Oh my goodness. Life up uh, plus foot. Oh wow. Watch out for the cops. There's actual leveling up. Yes. I've still got. Level I've up. I've still got my ring 50. of people. Oh, that dolphin is Come coming dolphin. after you, man. Come here, dolphin. That Get dolphin is shooting Get dolphin it. bombs at you. Oh, but I totally wow, have my shield. This is okay. a dolphin boss fight. That dolphin is. Man, really sticking it to you. Now, well, all the you gotta dodge course, better. All the people, you are way I too can't, close. I'm too big. Come on, you're I massive. I can't dodge around anything. <laughs> all I can do is get. Oh, oh no, the horrible dolphin blood. Oh god. Oh, the, his, his little, head came off, and now it's. Spurt of dolphin oh blood. my goodness, the horror. I like how they the have carnage. like three bits of blood to use, and it just keeps going. We just go right on to the next level. Unfazed. To am I like activate am super I, like, mode? Just run into everything. Is that? A I think problem? you just. Immediately Oh no, that that hurts life. Yeah, if you if you touch anything, you take damage. Running into orange stuff. Hurts. But if you if you absorb people, I think you get health. I think if you just run over the people though, you don't get any health. They're like, uh oh. Press A Do to it. buy. Oh no. Or B to go back. We must have run out of time on our trial. Oh no. Oh no. But hey, go ahead and hit. It's a. over. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey -o. This doesn't look like shooting. This looks uh, like uh, doing some script writing and drinking a <laughs> Sunday. Well, you know, she's got to finish all that sweet backstory that we just skipped over, which we, you know, our condolences, but we honor her. We honor her by starting the story. Here we go. Yes. There you go. Now I've already played a little bit, but we're gonna start with the blob. And what do you think these purple things are supposed to be? Uh, right. Uh, Dra yes. fireflies. Dragons. Fire I like your, I your first guess much better. Uh, uh, dragons? <laughs> yeah, they're dragon larvae. Uh, it's well known that <laughs> dragon larvae exist in an insect-like form before cocooning for decades oh, man. to become their larger uh, world. There's science going on. Uh, you have a rocket launcher all of a sudden? Yes. So, so things you can do. Uh, you run with one stick and you shoot with the other stick. You use the right trigger to jump. You can actually triple jump. Um, having jump on the trigger feels a little bit awkward. You might be able to remap to the A button. I'm not 100% sure, but you also just kind of need to do And then you can use the right button to switch between two different weapons. Right now, I am using the double, double, pistols. The double pistols, which are you know fast but do less damage. And then I have the rocket launcher as my sub weapon, which is slow. But does more. Do we have ammo as a consideration here? You seem oh to just my be no! Shooting with impunity. We do have time, though. You'll notice we've got health and time up there on our meters. That's because we've got bullet time. Oh wow! <laughs> oh well. <laughs> you know, whatever. You get the idea. I get the idea of bullet time. As... Dun, 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 dun. Oh, there we go. That, was uh, a little, that, that could was, have been a little more exciting. That was slightly better than you just bullet time <laughs> face planting yourself into a cat. I'm not 100% sure if bullet time is simply to help you get around obstacles, because this being the, the first stage in the game, the obstacles aren't too bad, except for this guy with the barrels. Oh, nice. Um, but I feel like bullet time might also yeah. give you a little extra damage as well. Mm. I, of course, could just be making that up. I could be going a little bit crazy, but I think that's, there might be some extra damage. That's the story of this show, Max. I know. A little Are you crazy. not concerned with shooting this helicopter right, right now? now? this, since I've played this before, spoiler alert, you're not supposed to shoot a helicopter at that part. It will not do any damage, but you do shoot it at this part. This is the part where you can actually damage the helicopter. I feel like a rocket launcher would be real appropriate I for know, this situation. I think it would, but the pistols do a better job of taking out the missiles. Which you 
Yes. You can see the rocket launchers since it fires so slowly. A lot of your shots get caught up. Wow, you just got by the hill. So I'm gonna do this. Nice. Bullet time, nice. Sort of like front load a couple of That was there. pretty cool. And then watch out. Yeah, watch out. out of the way. Good job. Good here job. Go. Here we go. Feeling good. I'm up to a B. I actually normally I do. Oh goodness. Nice. Okay. Avoid. I maneuver. normally do quite terrible this game. I don't think I've ever actually made a B or an A rank On before. An A. Oh my goodness. Nice. Oh, yikes! A little bit of humor. Oh, ah, close one. How scary. That's preposterous. We're a good. bottomless and pit. And I'm keeping my A score. It's not hard. End it. You just gotta cook End yourself. It all. There we go. No. Oh. See, look at that. I feel better already. You're. She, unlike you, yes. is burning tons of calories. You are That's just sitting true. in a I'm room. I'm just sitting here on my rumpus. Not burning diddly squad. It's a time! Maxwell, this this kind of makes me think of a, another TV uh, action platformer of. Oh no. Ble uh, they Bleed Pixels. <gasps> yes, They Bleed Pixels. I don't know if that came out on Exploit, but it did. No, I, I know you can get it on Steam. That was on Exploit. Oh, wow! Oh, That's a new one. Whoa, big guy. Caterpillar zooming through the air. No warning. He is just, he is not giving an F right now. Total. He's just like, you know what? What's going on? Dive What's bombing. On? I heard you were trying He's to like, uh, I do dive, something. I dive around in the foreground in the background. Whatever. I will jack you up. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Um, Baby Pixels, an amazing sort of melee combat uh, platformer game. Sort of in the same band as Super Meat Boy. I know when they were, I hate to say that because when they were first showing trailers for that game, everybody was like, oh, this is just like Super Meat Boy, but you can punch people. And it's not very different, but it is an amazing game in its own right. And though this one is Bleed and you are blasting. Yes. Oh. And I, this game is called Bleed and I may just be, I may happen to just be reading some people. Maybe. There just a oh, coincidence. You're making some pixel blood. Let's see what else. Bleed. No, did I bleed? What's in the extras? Complete character select. Oh what? Yeah, challenge modes and a character select. Yeah. Question. All right. Question. Question. So you know, it could be anything. Maybe it's a robot. Maybe it's one of those creepy snakes. Rin. Things. That's her name is Rin. Rin. And credits. Who do we have to thank? Everything by Ian Campbell. Nice work, Ian. Good job, Ian. You did it all. You did all these things. I'm not even going to read any of these other people's names, because you know what? You're the man. Hey, man, it's from Pulse. From Pulse. From Pulse. Or as I like to call it, from Pulse. From Pulse. So this game, unfortunately, little movie magic for you kids. We can't hear anything in our little recording room right now. But this game is very much Read a how to. a sort of rhythm action game, rhythm Read action platform. Read a how to. Will. So you play as a little roly poly guy, who uh, apparently, from what I can gather in the story, I'm not reading all this to you. You just gotta press the button. He lives in a world of music, which may just happen to be Earth in the fall. No such future. thing. No such thing. And Boogie Monsters show up, and they start ruining everything. So he's got to go back in time to find some sort of MacGuffin that'll fix everything. So we're gonna go back in time. We're gonna meet, you know, Dan MacGuffin. Ancient humans. And ancient humans? I don't see. That looks well, like a modern humans city. To him are oh. modern humans. I'm travel. I'm travel. Oh, what is a this dude? Loading screen. Hold on, takes kind of a long time. So, <laughs> editing magic. Okay, boom, man, we're back. Not a problem. Not a problem. See, that didn't take long at all. Time for a festive basso. Oh, look at this. Also, I'm probably always going to be late or early because yeah, we can't hear anything. Just tap the button when you see the you thing. You think man. it would be that easy, but you have it to be—you have to be like pixel perfect on these on these musical landmines. Really? It, yes. It is. I'll, you'll play the Why next one. Why don't you adjust yourself one <laughs> pixel? Like, just in your head, shift everything. This is kind of styling. You're going over a bridge here. You're this little. Uh, I know, this little Oopa Loompa. What were they called? We saw it in the loading screen. Oo Loopa. I don't know. Loopas. You look like salmon. <laughs> the entire game. It's, I, you know what? It's not going to be a thing, but having Samus Mall form as an unlockable character would be, yeah, be pretty cool. 
rolling through downtown. So each of the uh, the little colored landmines has its own button assigned to it. Uh, in this first stage, we're only going to see the green ones, which make me hop, and the uh, blue ones, which make me shrink down and go underneath them. Maxwell, you can read Katakana. Tell us what it was just saying outside on those walls. Um, super happy fun time, okay? Made that up. I did just make that up. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. I, I panicked. To okay? be fair, I made up that you know Japanese alphabet, so <laughs> we're even. I know. I can read the alphabet. And you are doing a not way. terrible job. You know. Well, you know, maybe having the music off is making me better at this. <laughs> As a you reach the VIP section. prehistoric human myself, yeah. I might be a little weirded out if I saw a little roly poly ball guy sure. jumping over, you know, my Time uh, out. My why does it say wine. why does it say the drunkard? Um because five hearts goes into five dialogues. Five hearts yeah. to arrow to five dialogues. Yeah. Next. Let's go. I don't know how this I don't you know. You need to dialogue what with else the you need to know about. City is bathed in light. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. Oh, that's right. You play as the Hega. Vega. Vega. Who are you? Asked the kid. Booga! <laughs> Reply the drunker. Surprise! Your, oh, that's your drunker voice. I thought that was your Vega voice. That's what it says! I know what it's. I'm sorry. Incomprehensible babbles. I'm gonna what tell do you, you want right from now? Me? There's a whole. Oh my goodness. Lot of Come on, this is compelling. I know. And look, you get free QR code for music, too. Bam, scan if it you on your. If you want to see what happens in the story, you can pause this video or go download Frumples, because it's pretty awesome. From. Also, this is gonna be another kind of long loading screen, so. I see your game. Hippies. The Butcher era. Don't you remember that? Oh, I remember when it was that is kind of interesting to baritonias. think that these peaceful Oompa Loompa people from the far future will remember mankind, will remember our World War II era as the butcher era. It was pretty butchersome. They were pretty, it was just pretty dark. Your hearts yeah. are low. I know. Oh, you, they just went up a little if bit. If I do better, it, I think it, yeah, it fills that little meter there next to my heart. Yeah, that's why you were able to have five dialogues with the guy, because you had five hearts. Oh, is that what it does? Oh, yeah, buddy. Oh, I didn't even pick up on that. That's what I'm here for. That now. makes a lot more sense. You're here to tap the buttons. Oh, I'm here okay. to read stuff. Here we go. Boom, with all our powers full, combined. We will figure out these games. Oh man, look at this war ravage. Whoa, okay, you know what? Shouldn't have taken that extra jump there. I think I, that might have been. Kind of messed up my time. Might have been like a music situation where you could, you know, bop along with the bops and the beats. Bopping it. Oh, psych. Nutmeg that time. back to the title screen so we did not complete the story so we do not get the story plus i'm sure there's so many more dialogues in there that we just don't know about there's a rankings Let's see what... leaderboards all right check it so you know i'm number one because these are local pretty standard leaderboards yeah pretty straightforward leaderboards we already looked at the how to let's jump into the credits real here give what a big got? thank you to the fine folks at pixel Julie molotov Mato. thank you julian or and Rhoda. your friends I picked them all the time. Oh, Ridges, Don Rene. And your sweet music done by your buddy. Furious. Yeah. Back to dashboard. All right, folks, well, that's Fart. just about. Fart. Sorry. Nice. <laughs> oh, Lord. Take four. All right, folks, that's just about going to do it for this episode of It Came From Xbox Live. That was delightful, Maxwell. As always, if you guys at home have any suggestions for games you'd like to see on the show, uh, reach out to me on Twitter or head on over to GameSpot.com. You can find me there. Drop me a note, and, uh, I'll try and you know, I'll try to see if we can get your suggestion on the show. And if it does make it on the show, I'll see if I can't send an Xbox Live indie game download code your way. Ooh. But Christopher... Yes. Thank you for sitting in, hanging out with us. Maximilians, it's always a delight to hang out with you on the videos and x -Blake, really fun. <laughs> well, I like it. I like it a lot. So for Christopher Waters and Maximum of Bargains, I'm saying, see you next time. It came from Xbox Live. Shouldn't there be music coming out of yes. this? Yes. Huh. Well, you know what? Not just me. Oh.
All you can hear is me, Maxwell. Ooh. You are doomed to fail your rhythm game. Okay. Doomed, I say. Doomed. You're not coming back on the Just show. Just put it all the way down. You're There's no to... need for any volume. Well, okay, fine, Mom. There. Thank you. <laughs>